Um, uh, there's a question here about uh, why six second videos for Vine. Um, yeah. It's just this accelerate. And I actually have this question too, and, um, and I have a different version of it. So when Twitter became 140 characters, uh -huh. it became 140 characters because of text message, because at the time a lot of people were using text message. And so the limitation was created because of the technology. Yes. So with Vine, you're creating the limitation because of people's um, ability to consume content. You're not, there's no limitation that says I have to can only create six second videos. Are you, are you, okay, so I agree with the, First part of that hypothesis. Oh, that, that 140 characters yes. was okay. <laughs> but I don't necessarily agree with the second part of the hypothesis. So why six seconds? Just an um, arbitrary number or? Well, so I didn't, I didn't, let me first be clear. That, so Vine is a company we acquired uh, before it launched. Um, it, was, it was three folks in New York at the time uh, who were building this application. Um, and uh, we acquired them and then uh, have continued to invest in them, and they've recently launched the application. And the application is, as, as Nick mentions, these six-second videos that are very easy to create and edit um, on, on uh, I, iOS, on the iPhone. Um, and the beauty, I guess, so, so those guys picked the six seconds, and the beauty of the six seconds is it's so tightly constrained um, that it allows you to tell these super short stories in a way that's different than any other form of video. In much the same way, or similar way rather, that Twitter and 140 characters allows you to tell these stories and have these conversations in a very almost poetically constrained way that's very, very different from any other form of communication, yeah. text communication. So when Jack and I saw it, and Jack saw it first and then called me and said, you gotta uh, see these guys before they go back to New York tomorrow, and we did and moved very quickly, the thing that struck both of us was, ah, this is the thing we've been looking for. You know, when Instagram was acquired by Facebook, uh, one of the, I, I happened to be in Tokyo at the time, and one of the things I got asked by the reporters over there right away is, you know, what, do you guys feel you have to go, you know, buy a, a photo sharing app now? And, and, I, and <clears throat> I said at the time um, that, look, we're, that's not the way we run the company. Um, you know, it's like driving by looking in the side view mirror. You know, you have to have a point on the horizon that you want to drive toward and go there, irrespective of what these other people are doing. Um, and so we're going to do that. And when we saw Vine, we really felt like this is like the so, next. So, this is the so next why? Thing. So why? Why not just put it into Twitter? Why not just have a little button next to your your tweet button that says V or whatever, so that you can create a Vine? Why create an entire social different network? Um, I think the beauty of of letting it go and seeing what happens is that it's possible that with the um, that freedom of the six second video environment in which that's the uh, critical mass of what people are doing, other potentially interesting and beautiful forms of dealing with that uh, medium will emerge. So for example, um, within Twitter, the at symbol and at replies and hashtags and retweet and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera emerged. Stuffing Vine into that context that already had critical mass and a language uh, and, a, you know, and a structure might constrain the interesting things that might evolve out of Vine. And in fact, we're already seeing these interesting kinds of things that people are doing within Vine that may be because it's of its own <clears throat> self and, and the people there are doing their own thing and they're not a subset of what's, Twitter. What's the favorite, your favorite Vine that you've seen? Oh, uh, well, it happens to be a Twitter employee, Ian Podgem, who's uh, absolutely remarkable at it. And I would say uh, his, his string of them are probably my, my favorite vines. He's got a little um, um, dying for coffee, oh, maybe, is yeah, my yeah. favorite one. Yeah, I've seen that. The, the little man yes, that runs. Man yes, man in the desert. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, you, you used to... Uh, <laughs> It's funny. This guy puts this incredible amount of time and effort oh, into yeah, these absolutely. vines, and then we're up here going, yeah, the guy in the desert with the thing. <laughs> it's um, amazing. It's remarkable when you see these, what he's been able to do in this six-second video. There.